My name is Trevor Swanson. I'm a wildlife artist here in Phoenix, Arizona. What you get with a, an oil painting is a, a real depth and richness of the colors. For me, the pieces that really come together and really have life are when I've been there, I've seen it. All my paintings start somewhere in the field, somewhere out there. What things look like actually, the, the habitat is as important as animals and your subject to what you're gonna put in there. Man, that's some cool color though, holy cow. I came up here mainly to study some lichen. The feel of the lichen, how rough it is, how soft it is to the eye, but how rough it is actually into your fingers. All those things kind of make their way into a painting. It's the details and I'm known for my, my detail. This has been on my list to get to this little point of rocks right here for a couple years. And just something about it, it's just, it brings a smile to your face just to be out. See, so finally accomplished it. Got up next to the lichen. Perfect. I love the outdoors. I'm growing up hunting, growing up hiking. Every day spent outside is, there's something. You know, you come away with something special. I imagine myself to have like a, a creative battery that to go out here and be in, be in the wilds, getting the fresh air, is, that's where I go to, to recharge that battery. It's something that it just gets in your blood. And it's like, yeah, I realize what kind of beauty there is out there. With nature work, you know, doing landscapes, doing animals, it's pretty straightforward. It's something that's easier to, to really tell a story effectively because it, it's almost done a lot of the work for you. Here's this beautiful, cool, interesting thing. All I have to do is just put it up out there on canvas and share it with people. Already right here, I can see exactly this, what I was looking at this morning is mainly the, the color and the texture. That's exactly what I wanted to do on these, on these rocks. I've got a, a bobcat that I'm working on with some of the, our, our desert scenery. For some reason, the last couple of years, I've had a lot of good contact with, with bobcats. So it's been a, a nice opportunity to, to study them a little bit. So what I've got is this guy that was kind of creeping out from between some rocks, just kind of gently taking his time. This is kind of the whole setting that I wanted to, wanted to capture him because he was up against this light, this beautiful kind of sunset in the background. This is what's most important. And then from here, I want your eye then to go around and see, see the rest of the piece. And what you can see when you look around the studios, I've got paintings kind of strewn about me in different stages of progress. I've got the pheasant was from South Dakota, a couple different things, the hummingbirds over here are from New Mexico, and then the wolves that I'm working on are from over up in British Columbia. Something I was, I was born into. This is, I come from a fam, family of artists. I always enjoy doing a quail painting. I grew up in Prescott and have an, a, a history of hunting, chasing, and studying quail. They're beautiful birds, they've got such great color. Some critters, it's hard to kind of give any kind of emotion or mood, mood to them. But a quail is a lot of fun because of the way that they hold their tails, the way they hold their top knot. The best thing for me is the biggest compliment is somebody looks at a piece of work and feels like they're there or they've been there. At that point, what I've done is I've told this story so completely that they feel like they're a part of that painting.